Once you've run out a report, you may want to share it with other colleagues or partners. To do this, you'll need to download the report either as an Excel workbook or as a PDF. You'll find both these options on the menu bar. To send out a static copy of the report, you click the PDF button on the menu bar. The report downloads as a PDF document, which you can click to open in its own tab and then share it with others by saving it to a central location or distributing it via email. You can also download a report to Excel to take advantage of Excel's rich functionality to further customize the report. To do this, click the Excel button on the menu bar and then click the Download Report to open it in Excel. Then, if you'd like to modify the layout or parameters in the report, sign in using your Sage credentials. The Excel report is not just a dump of the online report. Rather, it uses formulas that update the workbook in real time based on the data you load when you sign in. For example, if I change the year value in the report header, watch how the data in the report updates dynamically. Keep in mind that the data in the report updates dynamically, but you'll need to manually update any variables you've used in the report title or column headings. If you'd like to see more detail about the balance, select the field and then click Drill Down. A new worksheet appears, listing the accounts included in the selected balance. We've given you different ways to view more detail about account balances in your online reports too. You can select Show Account Detail when you're defining the report filters. I'll run out the report again with this option selected, and as you can see, the report now shows the accounts included in each account category. For other great videos and learning resources, go to learning.sageintelligence.com. For feedback, questions, or support, connect with us at www.sageintelligence.com.